talking about the preparation strategy pretty basic things we would be just reiterating anything and everything which you know firstly become an efficient solver what do i mean by an efficient solver it's like you know the question you know the question could be solved in 2 2 minutes 2 and 1/2 minutes but the question is solvable in 2 and 1/2 minutes by people of the entire india right you just need a differentiator right you need to get it done in 2 minutes 10 seconds so the 30 minutes you you get like you can go for a more question so be a efficient solver developing a sound understanding of fundamentals this is the main basic step which we all need to do believe me i got a 99.93 in a quant and i know zero shortcuts i apply zero shortcuts if you are applying some shortcut you should be knowing when to apply that shortcut and why are you able to apply that shortcut like the boundary conditions for using that shortcut we are so people also you are doing option elimination right so why not in quants so like sometimes back calculation comes so handy right for example you are say like a huge well equation is forming and you need to find the value of x there x is the value that 2 4 6 and 8 now if you see ki like you put the value 4 or the six, value 6 the answer is getting greater than what is expected right so 6 and 8 both are not answer then try with 2 if 2 satisfies stick to or else 4 is the definite answer so just be an efficient solver in those lines and have basic number sense like like you should able to understand ki ye answer why a particular number could not be an answer this will develop with time but uh, you would get hang of those things and reduce dependence on equations as much as possible i will say a trick to it uh, how to reduce dependence on equation or what practice to do to reduce dependence on equations if you are having a mock you should not be using more than one a4 sheet as a rough paper you should confine yourself to solve all the question in one rough paper so you would not be having any area to write the equation and with the hang of that i think the use of equation will also reduce then we would go on what kind of habits you need to develop to with time from the day one we're just iterating the one thing consistency is the key to crack cat that's it or to our bell cat said that so like daily solving adds huge advantage like you could solve 10 20 questions daily or 120 question on a weekend right but i would say do 20 questions daily that will add a lot of more value and for example quant come in the last section of the paper right so it's like once you are attempting quant you are all your brain is already drained with the vrc and dlr section so the thing is like i would suggest ki like don't attempt quant in the freshest of mind attempt like you just like came from work or do something do some rigorous thing and then attempt quant so that you get a hang of the situation how your brain and body would react or perform now look at a question for couple a couple of minutes while practicing like like see if you can solve the question without using pen said that your brain is insanely fast your brain is so fast you don't even know or that we know a smart way but you should also know the brute force way the most basic approach like for example you have you are done with all the questions in cat there are two questions remaining and five minutes remaining you only know the smart way and you are you forgot the smartest way and so basically you have five minutes you could get a three marks like but so if you have the brute force approach ready or you know the brute force approach you could be very confident while solving those so like it boosts the confidence and it increases your chances like know the know the basics the most important thing and finally discuss with friends like talking about assimilating solving techniques is like you should you solve a problem your way also see the answer how the coaching institute or the place you are solving how they give it ask a friend if they find a efficient way and learn from them and write it or note it somewhere that's pretty much kind of all the habit and i just said like uh, just reiterating point number 5 again constrain yourself with limited solving space so that you scribble less you are faster than you think point number 6 is nothing but continuous revision now post that what could you do in the next one month so practice like an adarsh balak you should be knowing what steps you are not writing or what steps you are jumping but while you are practicing or you are using a timer like uh, practice with the exam like it's always game time start devise your own strategy trick your mind to revise old topics and those kind of thing have a study group or like revise with them if you have some doubt post it in the group somebody else will solve it if you are just starting try to get a hang of number system or the vedic maths we all say like not in a very detailed level but number system and arithmetic are a place to start if possible just revise your geometry once because you have done geometry Uh, everybody has till in class 10 standard so it is a good familiar place to start with then uh, take mock 
from the first day like at currently from today onwards you can start taking sectionals or mocks and don't like think like i am not prepared 50% of the syllabus is done only after 70% i will be doing you would not be satisfied with your syllabus coverage percentage at any time in your preparation so start mocks as early as possible work on your calculation calculation for raising i think if you if you have written one mock at least till now you would all be knowing the calculator that they provide in the exam all is worse hang up like for example you should not be able to so what's one by seven one by seven is 0.14 it's 14 percent so 14 into 7 is 98 so something around 0.1 so what's 2 by 7 so 14 into is 20 it's 28 percent so if i ask what's 1 by 23 1 by 25 is uh, 0. Uh, 0. like 1 by 25 is 4 by 100 0. 0.04 1 by 23 is something more than 0. 0.04 and something less than 0. 0.05 because 1 by 20 is 0. 0.05 so these things really add a lot of value